All right, grade eight, this is the beginning of chapter two, and it's entitled Rates, Ratios, and Proportional Reasoning. In this chapter, we have three sections. Section 2.1 is two-term and three-term ratios. 2.2 2 deals with rates. Then we'll have a little quiz to see how you're doing with those first two sections. 2.3 includes proportional reasoning. Then we'll do some practicing and review finished up with another unit exam. So that's what chapter two is gonna look like. As we go through the chapter, you wanna make sure you're aware of these things that you're picking up on. Specifically for today, 2.1, you're gonna to want to know the difference between a part to part and a part to whole ratio. So that's some definition type stuff. And you also need to understand how to put a fraction into lowest terms. If you can do those things, Hopefully you'll be in good shape for 2.1. For 2.2, you want to be able to determine the appropriate rate given the two units and subject matter. And you'll need to determine the appropriate unit rate given the two units. So nothing to worry about today, uh, but just moving forward, that's what you'll need to keep in mind. And for 2.3, the final part of the chapter, you'll need to understand that proportional reasoning is using equivalent fractions to determine other quantities of the same units. So equivalent fractions came up here. Um, we're putting fractions in the lowest terms. So working with fractions is pretty key in this particular chapter. All right, let's begin chapter section 2.1, two-term and three-term ratios. So to start off, we have a definition. Represent is to show using a sign or a symbol. So you're going to express something, use a sign or a symbol. Another definition here is a two-term ratio. So you're going to compare two, that's where the two-term comes from, two quantities with the same units. Now in a ratio, you can express them or write them as A colon B which is actually read A to B. So you can write it as A to B as well. Um, so for example here, we've got all these different colored squares. We've got um, black to white is, now expressing two different quantities, black is one, two, three, four, five, six. So six, black is the first number, white is the second number, and it's one, two, three, four. So six to four. So black to white is a 6 to 4 ratio. That's what we're working with here. So we've got two numbers that have the same units, and in this case, the units is just a box. So black to white is 6 to 4. So let's have a look here. A bag holds 20 marbles. What is the two-term ratio of black marbles to white marbles? So if we look at it, method 1, we can represent a ratio using a drawing. And if we go through here, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 black marbles. So we've got 10 black marbles drawn here. And then we can count the white ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we've got four white ones. And we've got a colon in between them. So it's 10 black to four white. Or you can say it's 10 black compared to four white. And as we said, there are 10 black marbles and 4 white marbles. Now, another definition for you here. This is called a part-to-part -part ratio. Part of what you see in this bag is the black. Another part is the white. So that's how we're calling it part-to-part. It's the black part to the white part. So part-to-part -part ratio compares each part of a group to the other parts of the same group. And I'm going to actually cross out the word the. Because it doesn't have to be comparing to all of the other parts. It can be some parts. Like in this bag, there's black, there's white, and there's gray, but we're not even talking about the gray right now. 
but we can talk about the black and the white and it's still considered part to part. So for example, in this little drawing, two to three compares the white, two whites to three blacks. So this is again another part to part. Method two, rather than using a drawing, we can represent a ratio using symbols or words. Actually here, let's try something different here. Method one, I highlighted, and then method two, I'm highlighting. So a ratio of black marbles to white marbles is 10 to four, or you can, which is using symbols. Numbers are considered symbols. Or you can use words. Instead of the colon, we're using the word two. So 10 to four as a symbol, or 10 to four using words. Either works, but that's another way to represent them. Rather than using pictures, you can use numbers. All right, so now we've looked at part to part. Let's look at part to whole ratios. Another definition. So this is when you compare one part. So that's the first part of this is a part. And you're comparing it to the whole group. So part of it to the whole thing. So again, using one of these little diagrams, the ratio two to six compares the two whites to, well, six would be all of them. So that's the entire grouping. So it compares the white tiles to the group of tiles as a whole. Part B, compare the number of white marbles to the total number of marbles. Write the part to whole ratio as a fraction in lowest terms. So again, we're looking at this bag. There are one, two, three, four white marbles out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So there are twenty marbles in total. Make sure you realize that you need to count the white ones both times. White is the part that we're looking at, but they're also included in the whole. So, four white, 20 in total. So the white to whole ratio as a fraction. Now this is another way to write a ratio. You don't have to use the word two, you don't have to use a colon, you can actually write it as a fraction. You can write white on top, total on the bottom. That works. So in this case, that would be four to 20. So that's important. There are three ways now that we know how to write them. We can write it as a fraction, we can write it using a colon, or we can write it using the word two. All three of these techniques are ratios. And in this case, it's a part to whole. Now, going back to our work with fractions, we can write a ratio, if it's in fraction form, as a fraction in lowest terms. And in this case, with 4 to 20, we can actually do that. So, if you remember how to do that, we have to divide the numerator, which is the top number, and the denominator, the bottom number, by the same number. So if they've got a common factor, you can divide that factor out of both the top and the bottom to reduce the fraction. And if you use the greatest common factor, that will give you lowest terms. So, 4 and 20, 4 goes into both. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. And if you divide the top by 4, you have to divide the bottom by 4 as well. So 20 divided by 4 gives you 5. So now we've got a ratio of 1 to 5. And you could write it using a colon or the word two as well. So fraction, colon, or two, you can write them all those different ways. Part C, what marbles show the ratio six to 10? Well, let's have a look. There's one, two, three, four, five. There are six gray marbles. And 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there are 10 black marbles. So therefore the ratio 
of gray to black is going to be 6 to 10. That's another part to part ratio. Now, we've been dealing with two term ratios. It doesn't stop there. We can actually use three term ratios as well. So let's take a look at that. We've got another definition here. So a three term ratio compares three quantities with the same units. Again, same units. So if you're comparing times for a race and somebody's got them in seconds and somebody's got them in minutes, you have to convert one of them so that they're in the same units. You can't be comparing minutes and seconds together. They have to be seconds to seconds or minutes to, to minutes. So if we're comparing three quantities, we can write them again using colons and we could write it as A to B to C or you could use the word to again, A to B to C. Either technique is fine. Now a fraction only works for a two term ratio. You're not going to write a three term ratio as a fraction. So we've actually simplified the possibilities uh, by adding in this third term. So let's take a look at these tiles. We've got black to white to gray. There are 10 black tiles, four white tiles, and six gray tiles. Make sure that as you describe your ratio, the numbers line up. So the first description matches the first number. The second one matches the second, third matches the third. Part D, write the three term ratio comparing the white, gray, and black marbles. So white is one, two, three, four. Gray is one, two, three, four, five, six. And black is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got four to six to ten for white to gray to black. That's correct. It's a three term part to part to part ratio. But I recognize that these are all even numbers, which means the factor of two can be divided out of each of them. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So by doing that, you reduce it down to lowest terms. So we now have a ratio of 2 to 3 to 5 for lowest terms. Alright, so you've got an opportunity now to practice this with a show you know. Please go ahead and do that.